Hey y'all, it's Kim McCray, and yes, I'm back and better than ever before. I know it's been a year, but it's okay. It's okay because I'm here today. I'm here now, and it is what it is. But I'm here with another hair review, and this time it's a Wiggins Curl Unit. It's not my usual, you know, body wave, straight, none of that. It's a curl unit this time, and it's a glueless wig. So we're going to get into this review because y'all know I wrote my notes. It's right here on this lap, this MacBook. It's right here on this MacBook. I was going to call it a laptop, but it's a MacBook. So let's get to it. Starting off. Starting off, y'all. This is the unit right now. This is the unit right now. I actually still wear it. The lace looking a little janky because I just took it off my head. And I ain't washed it nothing again. But this is how it looks after being worn thrown on all type of stuff lace as y'all see curl pattern the curl pattern is actually still nice i feel like a little bit of mousse or you know what up here will be good but let's get into it this is a ready and go wig curly glueless seven by four pre-cut lace closure wig 250 density, 18 inches. So this is 18 inches. As y'all see, you probably see where it's like reaching at or whatever. And it's pretty kind of, it's kind of long for 18 inch basically. But let's get into these pros, y'all. Because I needed that wig to just like throw on. And I was going through like my curly big hair phase, which I still go through because every now and then I put that on, I put a headband on. I'm going to insert some pictures and stuff about like, not about, but <laughs> pictures and stuff on how I wore the wig as well as how the wig first looked when I first got out the box because this is what y'all seeing basically. I think I got this wig in February. So this is what y'all seeing months later. That's how it looks. But I'm going to also put how it looked when I first got it after unboxing basically. Um, To get into the pros, yes, the wig stays curly. Like, as y'all see, the curl pattern is still there. The curls are kind of, they're a little looser now that I've been wore and I haven't put like no mousse or no water on it. But once you put some mousse and water on it, the curls get even tighter. But this is a nice, nice curl pattern. Like, I like when my curls kind of fall down a little bit. So, definitely stays curly. Um, Another pro that I put is basically it's easy to basically keep curl, which is what I just fucking said. Then you also, then you also, you got a band in here so it's easy to adjust the glueless wig to make sure it's tight on your head and it don't go nowhere with this band. And then it's a clip in the back too. So you clip it on the back of your braids. You good right there. And there's enough room. So I feel like this is a decent amount of room to kind of make a sad part. And the fact that it's a um, glueless wig, like you can just kind of turn it to the side and still use your middle part as a side part, just curve it a little bit. Or you can do the no side part and then make your edges. Make your edges. And the hair is pretty full. And another thing I've noticed, I feel like this color of the hair used to be dark, but as y'all see, like it's brown. Like some of the pieces have turned brown, which is kind of weird to me because I'm like, why that wig turning brown? It wasn't this brown, but I like it. But I ain't did nothing to it for real. So I'm trying to figure out how is it turning brown like this? If you see it, you know, that's crazy. But yeah, I like that about it. Now, let's get into these cons. What I will say is this not, it don't really give me HD. It's more so giving me transparent lace. It's not giving me HD lace. This one I got on my head, this is HD lace. And I'm going to do a review on this in my head too but this this is not hd it's transparent it's supposed to be hd and it's not getting hd at all i will say as y'all see it's starting to bald let me put my hands right there so y'all can see you see that that's that's bald that's starting to bald but luckily that's kind of the sad so let's do the middle part so y'all see y'all see like it's bald a little bit but I feel like it's nothing that some spray can't handle for now. But if I keep wearing this at the rate I was wearing, this shit gonna keep <laughs> And I'm gonna have to put a lot of black spray on it. But um, 
yeah that's just one thing i i ain't really been fucking with with the wig is that it's been like bald a little bit i feel like the, the hair should hang on a little longer because this is not an hd lace this is definitely a fucking transparent lace um they thought that they thought it was hd but it's not hd this is not hd i don't know what they're talking about but it ain't hd oh so i paid 214 dollars for this wig same usual shipping price you know i mean not shipping price like shipping length so it took like what two to five business days or whatever to come so i probably ordered if i ordered monday i got it by friday or whatever it wasn't that long so shipping usual whatever i feel like the wig is very great to just you know wear literally like what it says ready to wear and go that's how this wig is you can literally just throw it on if you want to throw a cute little headband on make a little cute look you know with the headband add a little more spice to it put some baby hairs in it whatever perfect the wig is perfect for that um would i buy this wig again probably not because i'm gonna try to hang on to this wig for a little minute but i do recommend buying this wig if you want a quick curly to go wig that looks like this texture i will definitely say why not go ahead and get this wig now one thing i did do i i'll be washing a wig and for some reason it got like a little stitch on the uh cap i think and I'm like, damn, is it because I be letting the air dry? I don't know. Maybe I just need to wash it, wash it. I don't know, y'all. But it smells a little funny to me. That's another reason why I have to take it off my head. Because I'm like, I'm steady. That ain't me stinking. What? Fuck? It don't, it don't really stink. It's just, it got a smell to it. And I think it's the it's the cap. I don't think it's the hair. I feel like it's the cap because I be asking, I ask when I'm like, smell the hair. Do the hair stink? They're like, no, nah, the hair don't stink. So I'm like, it got to be the cap that I'm smelling. Or maybe my upper look. Nah, let me stop playing. <laughs> let me stop playing, y'all. <laughs> Overall, I will give this wig a 7.5 out of 10. Which is, which is honestly high. Like, I just think the balding of the wig is what irritates the fuck out of me and like the lace is not hd like it said because that lace is low-key hard and they because of me using spray or glue that shit just low-key hard like it's not giving hd like i know how hd feel that shit feels like a transparent lace but overall it's definitely a 7.5 out of 10 decent price you know especially because i got a 250 density and not like a regular 180 density because i like my hair big so yeah that's that's all i have for y'all today in this video so i hope that you enjoyed this review and i will be back to get y'all another one so stay tuned this is going to be on another wiggins unit for my next video so make sure y'all stay tuned y'all watch that one and then i got another one after that too i'm just going to hit y'all with these reviews back to back because I know Christmas finna come up. So I know y'all finna be looking for wigs to buy. You know, Christmas, New Year's Eve, Thanksgiving. All that is coming up. And I know y'all gonna want some wigs to buy. And then on top of that, get these wigs during the holidays. Because they always have sales. And they always have buy one, get another one free or something like that. So make sure. After y'all see these reviews I post, y'all go to these websites. And y'all get y'all a decent wig for a good price and maybe a free wig but if you like this video make sure you comment down below like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel i love you guys bye